Good morning, boys and girls. I can't believe we're com oh, coming to the end of our school year, but we still have a little bit of work to do. So today is Monday, June the 1st, 2020, day 43 of indirect um, virtual instruction. Math today, I want you to complete the Envision practice problem for the day over here. I want you to write, watch the fractions, halves, and fourths video here. And I want you to log into Dream Brocks and continue work for 15 minutes. So when we talk about halves, it's when you take a whole and you cut it in two equal parts. The parts have to be equal for it to be halves. And as you might guess, if you do fourths, you're cutting it into four equal parts. So you have your solve, solve and share to do over here. You should have a copy of this. If not, your parents can make you one, or you can just do it on a plain sheet of paper. Reading today, I'd like you to watch this, this module video. It's going to help you know what you need to do today and what the end result is. I want you to read or listen to the article, What Does School Mean to You, on page 15, 13, and 14. Think and talk. Why is it important to learn at school and how do you know? So just think about that. Think about everything we do in school and why it's important for us to be there. Write to describe what the article tells about high quality work. So think about what high quality work is and how you create high quality work at school. So high quality just means that you've done your very best and has answered all the questions completely. Um, read, enjoy the story. Um, I want you to click this YouTube video and listen to the story being read to you. Word work, we have a new list of words. We're doing words that have I-E that makes a long I sound and I-G-H way. I'm sorry guys, we did do these words um, last week too. And the IG8 makes a long I sound. So watch the instructional video for day 43 here. And then I want you to do super sentences. Choose words from cycle 24 word list and use them to write sentences. Remember to use a capital letter at the beginning of your sentences and punctuation at the end. It doesn't always have to be a period. If you're asking a question, you want someone to respond to you, it needs to be a question mark. But if you're showing excitement or emotion, you can use a exclamation point. Social studies today is uh, the topic is uh, social studies and it's neighbors needs. Have the last couple of months at home given you the opportunity to see more of your neighbors or have those in your neighborhood remained indoors. Today you're going to focus your ideas and energies on being of service to those who live near you. Remember service is when you do stuff for someone else. Activity with an adult come up with a plan to encourage your neighbors. Some ideas are making rainbows to hang in your windows for those who walk by posting signs of support in your yard, using chalk to draw messages on sidewalks, and leaving kind notes for your on your neighbor's door. Be creative as you add joy to your neighbor's day. And then here's you a video to watch about um, that'll give you a little more excitement about, a little more idea about how to work with other people and help them. Specials have moved to Zoom Mondays at 10 o'clock for first grade. Join the Zoom meeting here at 10 o'clock today to watch for your specials activity. Boys and girls, I want you to have a great day. Remember to snap some pictures and send to me. I'd love to see some of the work you did outside to make your neighbors feel better. Um, just have to have a good day. And, and uh, I'll definitely see you Wednesday. Wednesday at 1. We're going to do our movie together. So um, think about that and what snacks you're going to have at your house. I think I'll have pretzels at mine. I'll talk to you soon. I love you. Have a good day.